Good morning. Whew. So, today I'm going to bring you guys along. Just pretty much this video is going to be a day in my life where my days pretty much consist of doctor's appointments nowadays. I feel like I'm a 23 year old in like an 80 year old body. Like a not good 80 year old body, honestly. Whew. I have to take like a deep breath because I'm like running out of breath. By the way, it's already like starting to get super cold here in New York. For those of you who don't know, I don't know if I've ever talked about this in my previous videos, but um, I had asthma as a child. So when we moved here last year, the change of weather was so much for me that I ended up getting asthma again now as an adult. So now that it's cold, I have to start using my inhaler because I have a pigeon's chest, so my chest sticks out and that's due to the fact that I was born with asthma um yeah so my chest like tightens up and it hurts so much and it's hard for me to like grasp for air like it's so painful and it hurts so if I'm breathing really heavy in this video I am sorry in advance I'm just having a difficult time breathing and I am not sure if I can even start using my inhaler just yet which is something I need to ask my doctor today but pretty much today I just have one appointment I had to reschedule it from yesterday so today is Tuesday November 3rd uh, my appointment my surgery actually is one week from today so it's next Tuesday on the 10th and I'm getting my hysteroscopy and laparoscopy surgery so today I'm just going to get blood work done um, which is just going to consist of them making sure I'm not pregnant and I don't know what else, but getting blood work done, I feel like they are draining my, like, I'm like, how much blood do I have left? They get so many tubes out all the time. I feel like I go at least like twice a week now to get blood work done just to make sure my levels and my thyroid levels are all good. But anyways... So, I'm going to bring you guys along today. I'm going to go get ready because I look super crusty. And, uh, so, I'll bring you guys along with me. So, I am going to be heading out to my appointment now. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm hoping everything goes well. I can't even put my seatbelt on with one hand. Oh my gosh! I have a granola bar just to make sure that I don't pass out and some water, so I should be good. Hopefully. Um, I know I look bummy, but it's just getting lab work done, so I really don't care. I'm going to have my mask on. It's probably going to be like in and out super quick, so I will see you guys when I get there. Okay, so just got the blood work done. You can see my arm. We just took two tubes out, so it wasn't that bad. But I'm going to go ahead and eat my granola bar because I am feeling a bit nauseous. And it's 2.11 p.m. and I haven't eaten anything all day because I had to fast. So, yeah. I'm going to make the drive home in a few minutes. Just give myself some time and then... I will go ahead and update you guys on how I'm feeling then. So I made it back home safe and good actually. So yeah, as I previously mentioned, I only got like two tubes taken out. Gosh, this baby here is like irritating me, but whatever. Um, yeah, I only got two tubes out, so it wasn't that bad. I did feel a bit nauseous afterwards just because it is like 2.30 already now. And, yeah, I, I didn't eat anything because I was fasting. So, I had my granola bar, and then I started driving, and I felt a little bit better. But I am still kind of nauseous, so I'm going to make myself something to eat now. Are you guys, like, ready to see it, or what? Three, two, one. You guys are probably like, wow, what the heck is that? Like, these are cookies. These are my ovaries. My baker did such an amazing job. 
appreciated this cute syringe because your girl has been poked left and right and i really want to tell you guys but i'm just i'm just gonna say it for another video this is super cute made with love and science because 100 percent sure that our future baby is going to made, be made with science because we know that I can't conceive naturally. Pregnancy tests because I'm like, I'm gonna eat one and hopefully this like, the next time I take a test, it'll be positive. And this, because those are my eggs and his swimmers. This is like a TMI. <laughs> it's like too much, I don't know. So kids don't watch this. I'm going to make sure that you can't see it. But yeah, that's pretty much it um, with the designs. And then there's this one that said made with lots of love and a little science as well. They're super, super stinking cute. Like, I can't wait <laughs> to eat them. But I'm going to be super sad because, again, they're so stinking cute. Like, ugh. Anyways, I'll tag her info. So any of you guys in the Hudson Valley area want to get some baked goods, well, cookies, she is amazing. Like, I will insert the inspo that I found on uh, Pinterest, and I just had her change a few things up, but she did amazing. Okay, I just got the COVID test done, and it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, because this is the self- um, the one that you do yourself and you don't have to stick the swab all the way down like your freaking nose like touching your brains it's like you have to get that little piece at least in your nose and then swab it around in circular motions like 10 times and then hold it for five seconds and you have to do it to both noses but it's not the one that you know people say is like super bad we have to stick it down your freaking nostrils so, yeah, I'm okay. I'm alive. I'm fine. Um, yeah, so now, hubby is driving me back home. But the views are so nice right now. That looks like condos you buy to live there. Yeah. It looks so around. pretty. Yeah. So today is Sunday. I had my COVID test yesterday. So now I did a drive up order because the sales for um, early Black Friday at Target already started. So like every week they're going to be posting new stuff on their ads new savings so i got a few things and rich is just putting everything together also we get rewards for money that we're already spending with the best buy card that he has um we're always getting deals if you know my husband say hi babe hi babe oh my gosh <laughs> he is the king of being cheap and getting deals and I've kind of turned into that, but not cheap yet. Um, anyways, so I'm going to show you guys the few things that we got. Oh my gosh. I need to lose this double chin. Anyway, Judy is setting up the Alexa. It's the third gen. Um, it, it was like $18.99 at uh, Target as well, but the thing is that I could have gotten the 10% with it because you get a one-time use for Veterans Day uh, coupon. But anyways, I decided to get it at Best Buy because we already had a $60 credit with them. And you buy this for $18.99 and they give you this free Bluetooth light bulb that you pair it with this. And we decided to install it in that lamp so that when we come home from being out late or whatever we can just say hey alexa turn on blah 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 light instead of turning these pictures 
on and then having to come turn this on and then go back to turn that off and then go turn the hall one on to turn this one off and it's just like yeah so i'm like we can just turn that light on i'm like doing so many circles anyways um yeah we've i've been getting a few things got this nice little cube shelf which i'm actually gonna have it flipped horizontally to put in the nursery's closet and then got these cute little baskets I got three to put at the top and then I got the three like plain cute ones like a nude color a peachy beige whatever then I got the instant pot because I've been wanting one for such a long time since actually last year but I was too cheap to get it last Black Friday so I was like I need to get it this year this because my mother-in-law got me onto this air fryer toaster oven i'm excited to make pizza bagels super quick and fast and i get lazy sometimes and now with my surgery rich can just make me quick stuff in this yeah and then okay, went to best buy we got those things and then we got oh gosh we got this for my cameras i have two the older version and the newer one then we went to starbucks because i needed to get my lemonade drink well didn't need to get it but these are the cool changing cups and i'm actually going to do a little video on it so maybe in the next clip you see i'll be making myself something hot or whatever they're hot and cold ones so got four of those and rich i got this cute flannel the female flannel and rich got this super cute book that he's like so excited to read her baby excuse the wig <laughs> i have not put the wig away yet because i hope to wear it for like a video or something film look but this is such a cute book oh anyways so yeah then what else did i get Oh, I, I got another popcorn tin bin because, you know, it's my favorite. Rich likes the caramel. I like the cheese. And the butter's like, eh, we'll have that one last. I got homie some socks. These are great. Oops. You ladies want to get your man's some socks for the holidays. They're good and they're athletic and they're breathable. And they're, they're really thick, like, durable material power socks no show they're amazing i got him another pack i just got him one like a few days ago and i had him try them on and test them out he liked them he has some but he has like the old version of them and yeah they obviously are a bit different now they updated the look and the fit and i got a rolling stones shirt just because it's kind of like in style now like the street style with like the like doc martens or doc martin dupes but i don't listen to their music so don't come at me for that i'm just doing it for the style because it's cute but besides that yeah how's it going i need your information to put into the app okay all right hi future papa hello what are you doing I tell am... the people what are you doing Hello, people. I am doing. I'm building things with my bare hands. You know what that means, people? I'm using only my hands to build things. No other tools. <laughs> we are building future baby Kirshner's closet. It's such a small closet, honestly. So, this is going to go in horizontally. I think you guys will probably see a clip of when I show you guys what I bought. Well, I'll give you guys a little tour of the room. This is baby's uh, room, how it looks like so far. Uh, yeah. I'm manifesting, manifesting that this 
will for sure happen next year, 2021. Isn't this so cute? Obviously, all the decor on there is not going to stay there. It's just temporarily there. But this is the dresser that Rich and I DIY'd. I'll probably insert those clips in here just because, you know, I don't think I ever posted that video. But yeah, oh, look at that. There's a picture of my mom right there. Anyways, this clothing rack, I used to have like a whole bunch of clothes, stuff that I'm selling, but this is just stuff that I'll be using eventually. Um, but yeah. These are the little halo bassinets, and I got these super cute little um, infant inserts. It's reversible, and with the little toys, they're so cute. From Etsy, from a lady in the Ukraine. And then yeah, these are just all little baby Kirshner's things. Diaper bag, cute little vintage Moses bassinet. This that rich DIY to match the dresser. It's a little cart which I eventually plan on putting like diapers and stuff. I'll obviously get into detail once you know we actually do have a baby and I can start setting everything up. But this is what the crib looks like. This keeps like falling. I have to figure out a way like how to do that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave that there, but we're getting I say rid of zip tie. Zip yeah. ties are the only way. <laughs> well, I'm gonna get rid of these mattresses and I might get rid of the crib because Hubs said that we will be getting the crib that we really want, that the baby's going to use for a long time, and convert into a toddler bed and eventually into a twin bed. So the one that I want is pretty pricey. Yeah, I say a lot of things, you know. Who knows? But I'm a spoiled ah. person already. So person? Yeah. Person. <laughs> I'm going to say baby, but I want to call myself a baby in this video. But yeah, we have so many things. A lot of this stuff I have either thrifted. How rude. Oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I've thrifted or I have purchased through Facebook Marketplace. Like, oh my gosh, isn't this stinking cute? This diaper bag. Oh, I can't wait to do videos with hubby and future baby. Oh my god. <laughs> Put in that work, babe. Put it in. Can I start screwing now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's how we make a baby. <laughs> okay. Okay. Start over. <laughs> we're here in our in our hopefully future baby's room, and we're trying to prepare the best we can. We just got done building one of these shelves, which we'll show you momentarily. It was a interesting I'll, I'll project. I'll insert a photo of what the closet looks like yeah. before and then after once I put and organize everything. But uh, I'm not going to do too much only because, you know, our baby is not here yet, clearly. Like, you know, we're not pregnant. That You're, you're moving the camera with your arm there. <laughs> like, it's shaking. Uh, yeah. But we just wanted to get real with you guys and, like, really talk about how we've been feeling Throughout this whole journey and process, I feel like I haven't really shown like the raw, real footage, my breakdowns. <laughs> but yeah, surgery day is the day after tomorrow and I'm feeling a bit nervous, honestly. Like I'm like thinking of everything that could go wrong and I'm trying to be positive and like pray about it. And like I've had so many of you guys support us and you know reach out and say that you guys have been praying for us which we really do appreciate we truly appreciate it it means so much but i'm just hoping that after the surgery like that's it that's it like that'll be it. it and we can get pregnant like not naturally clearly that's like out of the picture yeah. but at least you know because we know the medication did help right like the medication helped me ovulate so but we're just thinking anything else with, yeah yeah, yeah. i mean there's there's a lot more other things we could do we're not let's go mm -hmm. a lot, but you know. like other procedures and other like medications and things that we can do but we're hoping that removing these um uterine polyps will help me conceive um with the medication itself before having to move to other more expensive 
difficult procedures that <laughs> I am like really not like I'm looking forward to but at the same time like if I can avoid it and get pregnant just with the medication yeah. it'd be better because just thinking about IVF and having yeah. to like inject myself and you having to do it oh yeah, yeah. Oh, i'm worried about God. me doing it because i don't like needles for those that don't know and i oh yeah i have an issue with 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 putting a, a like a thing like a oh a needle Dude, he inside me out. Uh, i don't get like i don't faint that's the thing like i don't like i don't get like woozy or anything i just don't like looking at it i don't know mm -hmm. how many of you like are like that i but i'm I like that oh. he's like <laughs> So we went to get blood work done earlier this year. Um, you know, he was he went in to get a. I'm just gonna say it because this channel is a trying to conceive channel. He went to go get a semen analysis, <laughs> and I was getting blood work done. And so he we were not aware that he was supposed to get blood work done too. Oh yeah. And we we're telling him, but he thinks we're joking around with him. Drain like, me, drain me of all my fluids. He's like, I mean, he's like, you're lying, and he starts walking away, and I'm like, no, like you seriously, and he's like, stop playing with me. No, and because then, they, the way that she said it, and she, the nurse, the nurse, was even, I thought it was the hilarious. dude that was there was like, no, you seriously, you, we gotta take your blood out like right now. I'm like, right now, like, like, like you're serious, like we have to do this thing like now. Yeah. He's like, yeah, we're no, it wasn't a guy, it was a girl. You could tell me that I ate cheese for lunch <laughs> or i don't even know you, you could tell me yeah i don't even know what i ate for lunch so like it was it was a it was a girl so he's actually excited it was a oh girl. you're right you're right it, it was, was a girl yeah oh you're right, you're right. <laughs> this is gonna be a funny it, it hit me to look it, back it hit at. me like just now when you were when you're like oh yeah it was i, I think was you're like, thinking about when you go to when on i go to base. West. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah right, when right. you go on base to get I was your blood was on there, but i was at that lab corp yeah it was lab corp lab corp lab corp However you say it. Because the, in the Marine Wait, Corps, hopefully, you don't hopefully say we don't, Anyways, yeah. we're getting off track here. <laughs> but he wasn't aware he was supposed to yeah. get blood work done. And just, like, the way I say it, I said it, I know it sounded, like, super, like, like you know, I was just being sarcastic with him and trying to mess with him. But, like, I, I was serious. So then the nurse was uh, like, yeah, you have to get, like, yeah. you have to get blood work done. Um, it was unexpected. And yeah, I didn't, I didn't prepare myself. And you got like how many tubes? Like three tubes, oh, right? It was goodness. like three. So like you know, like when they put that like one inside you, and then it's like, <laughs> and then, then like take that one out, and then like put it like, like it's like the thing is still inside you, but they like put the tube. He's so but, dramatic. Ah, he couldn't stop talking about it the whole day. Like literally, I had to baby him, and I'm like, I got not... more tubes taken out. And I'm like, and I've had my blood taken out even more times, but literally, like, he was such a beat the whole day. I had I, more I fluids taken out of me. <laughs> out of more places. Okay, so like, so. Okay, but he was like, he was like, oh, I can't, I can't do this because my arm hurts because they took out blood from me. Like, no, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're so I bet, I bet there's people out there that they get their blood taken out and then they just don't want to touch it. Like, it's just like, it's like, it's like, ah, this is like no touch zone now. Like, this is like this area. I can't, I can't live yeah, I can't, yeah, yeah. Can you grab that? No, I can't. I literally oh, can't. I look so crazy. But anyways, um. Oh my God. I just wanted to give you guys a little, <laughs> um real raw moment and tell you guys how we're we're feeling about everything but we're hopeful that everything will be all right and a great we will have a great outcome so yeah oh my gosh our baby is so spoiled already and that i will talk i have this other video that i really want to like talk like plan and just yeah so this is i think i started filming on Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday that I started filming when I went to get blood work done. So now it's Sunday. So tomorrow I will film and I will film before my surgery. And then the video will be up. Big and day. Yeah, Big day. I'm so nervous. I'm yes. nervous too. I gotta take care of her. <laughs> She's gonna be my little patient. I am like the worst big baby ever. Like I am I think, so... I think I am, but I mean like, yeah. Um, I'm needy. Like I'm like every five seconds. Oh, can you get me this? And then you sit down. Yeah. I'll and be, I'm I'll like, I'm like, like sitting there like on my phone like for two seconds. I'm like, finally a breather. Like, <laughs> ah, babe, 
Babe, where'd you go, babe? Babe, actually, I forgot to tell you to get me this. Babe. <laughs> but From anyways, the other room. I need to lose weight on my face. Like, yo. Also, freaking hair loss. Like, I'm like balding right here. Tell me about it. No, I'm kidding. Like, no joke. So much. Hair. You have to admit, like, a lot of hair has been yeah, falling yeah. off. Um, I've been getting, like, bad migraines and stuff. But anyways, that, that'll be another video for me to talk about. So... All right, we're going to end this here. I will film more tomorrow, and yeah. Tomorrow is just going to be a cleanup day. Get everything ready for this dude to take care of me, because no. Lord, everybody, please send a prayer out to him, just, because he will need just, all the help and on, all the patience to deal oh with me. Oh, my God. I'm serious, but all right. Peace out. So, today is the day before my surgery. So, today is Monday the 9th, and it is currently 3.47 p.m. And I only have a couple hours left until I have to stop eating anything, um, and that is at 12 at night. So, I mean, I still have a long time, but... Usually, I don't like to eat anything past 6 p.m. because then I have a hard time sleeping because I'm super stuffed. But, yeah, I'm feeling a little anxious, a little nervous, obviously, like, who doesn't before surgery? But, I'm feeling pretty hopeful and positive. So, today, I finished organizing the room. Well, not completely finished, but... You know, put some things together. As you can see, I'm in the nursery that we've been working on. Um, this looks a little girly, I know, but I'm hoping I get a girl because I really want to have a girl. But if we have a boy, obviously this is going to go somewhere in the house. But anyways, I just want to say that because I feel like you guys are going to be like, why does your nursery look so girly? Like, you don't even know what you're going to have yet. Like, come on. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so surgery is tomorrow. I spent the whole day just pretty much organizing and cleaning the apartment up to be ready for Rich while he's taking care of me. As I recover, I made it husband accessible because, you know, men have a hard time finding stuff sometimes and it's like, it has to be like right there in order for them to see it. So I've moved some things around and made it accessible for him to find and get. But besides that, everything's going good. Uh, I've had a few people already reach out to wish me luck on my surgery tomorrow and just make sure I have everything. And well, yeah, I'm ready. I'm so, so ready. Like, oh, I just get emotional because I'm just like, I hope, I hope that after the surgery, like, we can get pregnant like I'm just so tired I was talking to one of my cousins earlier and I was just telling her like my journey you know because she we haven't spoken in such a long time and I was just kind of getting emotional just talking about it because I'm like wow like I went through all of that and I mean I'm still going through this and hopefully this is it I honestly pray and I hope that this is it because so ready to have a baby like oh I feel like I have everything that I could ever possibly want like I have such a beautiful marriage my husband is so amazing I have literally everything everything I could ever want materialistic just just everything I have everything that I want and it's just that one thing that I want and it's to be a mom but clearly it's not my time yet and when the time is right God will bless us with a baby and I hope that it's soon because I feel like I can't do it anymore although I know that I can 